Hi, this is Michael Christie, music director of the Colorado Music Festival, and welcome to our 2011 summer series of concerts at Chautauqua Auditorium. We wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for the incredible talents of our festival orchestra, and so we present them with some new music as well as a treasure trove of some of the greatest moments in orchestral music. We start the summer with one of the great American works by composer George Gershwin, his Rhapsody in Blue, played by great jazz pianist Marcus Roberts and his trio. You've never heard Rhapsody in Blue until you hear Marcus Roberts, his improvisational style, and his fabulous trio that accompanies him. On this concert as well, we bring back an initiative that we started last summer called the Click Commissioning Effort. Click allows you, the listener, to select among composers we put on our website to write us a new work for our festival season. Last year, you selected composer Patrick Zimmerly from New York City, and so we open our festival orchestra series with his festival overture. Also on that program is a master that many of you have become acquainted with last year when we had the Time for Three trio play a commission by Chris Brubeck. This work is all around the American West as photographed by Ansel Adams and Chris has written a magnificent score that really highlights all the colors of the orchestra whilst having the projected images of Ansel Adams accompanied. As the season progresses, we bring other great masterworks for you to enjoy, such as Stravinsky's Rite of Spring. And now this is going to have a special twist because years ago, the Chicago Symphony, in its effort to allow people to become more familiar with works, started a great program called Beyond the Score. And as you know, we've been trying in various ways to have audience development initiatives, and this really is a crown jewel event. This involves multimedia video, actors, and in this case, a Russian folk singer that's going to be singing a lot of the music from the Rite of Spring that influenced Stravinsky as he was writing the piece. That happens on the first half, and then with all of that experience, that immersion and knowledge, you, you hear the Rite of Spring played by the orchestra without any extra features, just that incredible score. Mahler's Symphony No. 6, called the Tragic Symphony, is a continuation of our Mahler cycle. We are listening to all of his 10 symphonies over 10 years, and we're a little over halfway, and this piece is perhaps the largest of all. You will see about 100 musicians on the stage of Chautauqua Auditorium. Mahler is known for incredible power, also incorporating folk influences from the countryside where he was inspired. But this really is not to be missed. This is music of incredible potency, just huge climaxes and incredible energy. Also appearing on that program is a festival favorite, Kelly O'Connor, the terrific mezzo-soprano, and she'll be singing a song set of Maurice Ravel called Scheherazade. Well, the big question for me in planning a season is how do you finish when you've stacked the deck with such incredible performances? Berlioz Symphony Fantastique always seems to be a great answer because it shows off the incredible variety of colors and virtuosity of a great symphony orchestra. Whether it's oboes and English horns positioned around the auditorium, calling back and forth, or the incredible march to the scaffold that I'm sure you'll recognize when you hear it, just the thunderous sound, the dies irae at the end intoning, and the just monumental finale adds a great, great sense of excitement and celebration of what has been a terrific season. These are but a few highlights of a season that is full of music from Mozart to Mahler and then from Mahler going forward with some great works that I know are going to add such vitality to your summer. We're thrilled that you'll be joining us, and I hope that you enjoy every performance at the Colorado Music Festival.